Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. I just want to say a quick apology as, um, I'm not recording yesterday, not posting yesterday, only because I needed a break, or at least a day off, because I felt creative burnout. But that's taken care of now. Let's get into the video. Today's video is going to be, like, how to cross-hatch a face, a portrait. I don't know if I'm going to do this video vlog style, like, some throughout the day or something. Um, of my progress instead of just hitting in one portrait in one go type of thing. So we'll see how that pans out or if I'm just going to go ahead up with the video, um, which might happen. Um, but anyways, uh, let me show you some examples of what I mean, how to cross touch the face. Um, ignore these sketches right here. Um, but I finally learned how to do cross touching. Um, which you're probably thinking... Didn't you already know that before? You know, well, what I didn't know is that cross hatching you have different strokes going different directions in each layer. So, which is you'll see here with the tonal value by laying down um, hatching first and then going over different directions. And I was having a lot of fun with this. Uh, portrait here and you can see the I guess realism but I'm using realism loosely like, you know could not be it or something you know what I'm trying to say um but the reality of it is that I thought it turned out pretty good at least I hope so um uh so yeah there's here's, here's an example of that and then here's another example of the light tones you could get with it and not going overboard like I feel like you can have control of cross touching instead of going in and bury down on, on your pen and just trying to get those darker values. Where uh, as it is, you can just build up your tone by cross touching in different directions, which I did here. So I was very excited that I learned that. And you can see the different tones and gradients that I achieved in the shirt and the collar or what the cow he's wearing. So I was very happy with it. Um, so that was something I was practicing on yesterday before I wanted to do the video for, for you guys. Um, so those are the two examples I have here. Um, we'll go over how to cross hatch, but this is, I'm working on this portrait here. Um, but you can see the lighter tones, darker tones. Um, you'll see the progress in this video as well. Um, but I don't know how I'm going to film this video yet, but... Um, yeah, so you'll see that, um, and I kind of made a mistake right here. You can't really see it, which is good, and you won't see it with the hair and everything. Um, so, yeah, so I'm very excited about it. So, um, anyways, let's get on with the demonstration on how to craft patch. Um, so let's get on with that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, we're at 546 or 544. YouTube's being weird again. Um, so anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, get on to the demonstration of how to cross hatch, and everything like that. So stay tuned. Hey guys, and welcome back to this, uh, uh, how about say, okay, this tutorial, oh my gosh, I cannot speak today. Um, typically what you see in a pen video, or basically a, um, a pencil video, art video, how to shade. Um, it's basically a value skill, whereas I would share that with you guys. Like, I could do a whole separate video on value skill and how to get different values. But I feel like that is not really a... I'm not going to say it with this. Like, that could be very, very helpful. I do not want to say that at all. That's not my point. My point is... Those are good for practice and there's for there to be referenced. Um, so please don't bash me saying that, you know, it's not a waste of time, but I know it's not a waste of time. There's my rant. But, um, those are good for practicing because I don't want to show you that part in this video because this video might be way too long. That was my point of that thing. Um, anyways. For the referencing of that with the point of the exercise and trying to get different values, different tones. But how do you do that? Like, let's go over hatching, first of all. So hatching um, 
it's a series of lines going parallel with each other, which is, I've been learning that, so, you want to go hatching, you know, hatch, you want to hold your pen like this, so, hatching, I'm kind of starting out dark for you to, for you guys, so you want to go hatching, 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 you want to have hatching, and, yes, they're spaced apart a little bit, but, um, you know, I'm not perfect, um, so, I'm just warming up for the day, so bear with me. Um, but you want, the closer the lines are together, the darker it is. Um, so what you want to do for the cross hatching, I'll come over here and try to get them, um, closer to the hatching. And you can also go kind of just like this. And that's another form of hatching, and then another hatching. Like, this is what I mean by different directions and everything um, with your lines. Um, you, so you want different directions, but you want different directions when you layer. So what I mean by that um, is you can have a layer. Make sure I'm filming. Okay. Um, you can have a layer of hatching. And then come down the bottom diagonally and you can cross hatch like that. Uh, but what if it's like not getting too comfortable for you? What if it's like, um, I'm trying not to move my camera, sorry guys, if I do. You can angle your paper, rotate it, do whatever makes you comfortable. You can go in this direction. And the more how many directions you go, the smoother your tone can be. Um, you can go this direction. And just continue layering and until you feel it's right for you. Um, or what your tone is. Um, so I've shown this many times on my channel before, but I didn't know that you go in different directions and you should layer. But notice how that is going dark. Um, with that, uh, so you can continue going. Um, now I did talk about blending the pen and everything like that, which is still good. I want to go watch my video on that. Um, but what not to do? Like, what do you, like, what are you doing right now that, you know, you might be saying, I can't get that tone or whatever. Are you doing this? Like, I'm not trying to call you out or anything. But sometimes, I used to, I mean, I, I was used to, I still kind of do it for my sketchy, really sketchy, um, sketches, and then try not to care or anything like that. But, um, so I'm trying to say it's not wrong, but, you know, you want to get this, um, film right here. And it's zigzag, and I talked about this on my channel before. You don't want that. Okay? You don't want that. That is, you don't want... Do not pick up the pen. You want to pick up the pen. You know, it looks lighter because my hand is kind of used to being trained to go a lot lighter. That's another thing. Let's talk about pressure. So, the pressure of the pen matters a lot more. Um, well, not, I mean, because you can layer, you can build up your tongue like that. But I was told these, uh, these are really light, except for that one, it's not hard for you to see it. Um, but you want to, sometimes when you work, you want to do closer to the detailed, that's the detailed position. But if you want looser and you want to build up your toes, you want your pen, your hand to be up here. Um, it's just a better way to, um, shade. Um, but that's my big warning from this first tutorial. Now, we've already talked about this before, but that's how you get the, um, natural, the shading. Um, guys, if you have any questions or anything like that, um, I feel like I've repeated a lot of my videos that I have on my channel, but I'm running out of ideas. Um, let me know what you want to see on my channel so I can get some ideas. Um, I am getting the iPad Pro for my birthday soon, so there's going to be some digital parts in August. Um, unfortunately, they're all out right now, so uh, I have to wait for it, but it's going to be worth it. So, 
I'm really excited about that. So until then, um, we're going to do a lot of traditional art and um, things like that. So uh, thank you for watching. Let's get on the speed drive part of it and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So, uh, I'm really excited I'm back, and I'm sorry I took a day off yesterday. Um, but, yeah, so I was going to create a burnout, but anyways, I'm back at it, and I'm wanting to cross-touch the taste a little bit, so I wanted to teach you guys how to do that, like how to shade a portrait or something. Um, this is just the progress of it, so, um, Anyway, so I got this idea from Soyelini on YouTube, and she does amazing ballpoint pen work, so, um, so, yeah, anyway, so I got this idea to do two girls from her, so, that's what this is, um, so, credit to her for inspiration to try, I gotta say, that left eye is driving me nuts, because, it was a tad bit bigger, so I'm sorry about that, and it just went all wonky, but anyway, hopefully it won't look that way when I do the hair, but um, you get the general idea. So guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I do cartoon drawing, portrait drawing, anything like that. I um, get my hands on, I like to learn. So, um, anyways, I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Um, this is something I wish I had, of like, before I started with pen or something. Because, you know, there's so many tutorials on YouTube, um, that talk about shading and stuff like that. So, um, anyways, like I said, um, feel free to hit that red subscribe button to gray. I hope you guys enjoy this video today, and, um, so, yeah, anyways, um, Show you the nose now and can definitely tell the toes aren't coming along. Um, so I had a, I'm still working on it now. Probably will work on it soon after. I'm just hoping that left eye, um, towards a year, towards a year, and I may point to check crack to, um, get fixed or something. I don't know what the deal is. Or maybe it's because it's imperfective because the right eye is smaller. Maybe that's it. I don't know. Um, anyways, uh, is this video coming to an end yet? <laughs> Maybe I should put music in the rest of it. Uh, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna put music on the rest of it. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, so stick around, and I'll see you guys next time.